It's a social media frenzy right there. Look at all those videos. Just looking for the fairway here. Please welcome to the tee from Abbotsford, British Columbia, Adam Edwin. This ball should start just left of that walk path, just to the right of the bill of his cap. Actually, that was hit so fast, I didn't see where it started. But he's quick either. to pick it up. I didn't either. Yeah, gorgeous drive. I promise you that will not be a wood in his hand going at the green here. You promise? I promise that will not be a wood. That is far. Yesterday, we blew it way over the green. Wind strong off the right now. Let's start on a pretty good line. Yeah, good oh, got a good hop. Oh, That's beautiful. Really good hop. And that ball is going to end up about seven or eight feet for Eagle. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly red. Certainly Adams helped him. And just like that, DJ vaults up to six under par after two holes. And Tell you what, the way the par fives are playing on the back nine. He was doing with that driver, working on some different shaft combinations. He said he went back to Old Faithful, and that's what's in the bag today. This is out at three, and you can see the wind really picking up here at Glen Abbey. This is a just great skill to spin the ball into this hole location. A very easy putt is the reward. And the number one player in the world, the number one ranked player in the FedEx Cup standings. Get on a big roll. And then here, I believe this is at five. Mm -hmm. oh. Just dialed in, hitting darts. I towering drive right into the wind as if there wasn't a breeze at all. <laughs> right through and hit wedge in here on this par four. Uh. High launch, no spin. That's a good way to drive the ball. Fire it out! <laughs> and that should be really good today. This whole location on the back right portion. Most players are most likely the long hitters, especially fairway woods off this tee with it playing downwind. Separated his hands a little bit more on the back nine yesterday. Had two, three putts on the front, made that switch. It's working now. Sometimes you make adjustments in the middle of the round. He did. And it keeps the momentum going, as Phil said. So minus eight. Dustin Johnson unleashing at the eighth tee. Very true. Just a little wedge shot here for Dustin, 137 yards. Wind in from the right, backstop behind it. And didn't need it. Good shot. Boy, has he become a good wet player. It's to see the ball turn over to the left. He, if it's dropping right, Nah, that's no good there. If the ball is cutting a little bit for Dustin Johnson, he's good to go. If he's fighting it left, then uh, that, you know, could be a problem. Dustin Johnson with that, well, he's got more loft on this club. It, it, I was going to say three wood, but it really isn't. He put 16 degrees loft on this fairway wood. Because he was hitting these three wood too far. The 14 or 15 degree three woods were going 295 in the air. Market, but I think that can make it. He would make that. Here is his second shot at 11, the big downhill par four. Back to back days there, par four. This whole location and into the wind. Uh, great camera work and a great shot from the world number one. Made that look easy. Now Dustin Johnson, also with driver Phil. He suits his eye a little bit better. Playing a fade with the water on the right-hand side. He can start it away from it. Now with that club, he just has to trust that he's got the firepower, which he does, to carry that creek down the right side. Had one over there getting a ruling. Dustin stays at nine under. 